What is up YouTube? James back here. Welcome back to another episode of VGC 2018 Back to Back Battles. Today we are using the Megalopony team once again with Megalopony, Aegislash, Togekiss, Azumarill, Arcanine, and Tapu Koko. Let us get straight into the action, but yeah. So this team, really really fun. Just protect the Azu. That's basically what this has been for the past couple of episodes. Protect the Azumarill, have Azumarill set up, get some sweeps, but it can be problematic if Azumarill isn't able to sweep, which we have found in some previous episodes hard to handle. But really, really fun. Reminds me of playing back in 2015, but of course, we got like all these different Tapus. All these different Tapus. Scary, man. All these, all these other Tapus are scary. And we got Kartana, which is definitely a threatening Pokemon. Or at least to... I guess it's just to my Azu, really. And my low opening, since my low opening can't touch. If I had high jump kick, but one, I'm never gonna click high jump kick because I'm always gonna miss high jump kick most likely. And then two, uh, it protects mind game because I don't like high jump kick in the best of one scenario because you could run into like protect Kangaskhan, they protect, and then like, oh, you just lost 50% of your health. <laughs> so yeah, I decided low kick is just a safer option. You could change it to high jump kick if you are trying out the team where the pacement is down below in the description if people do want to see it. But I felt like low kick was just the safer alternative to what I needed to. And it still like hit Snorlax and Kangaskhan really hard, which are the main objectives. But anyway, I think it, we're taking quite a bit to find a battle. So I think I'm just going to cut it here till we find our first battle. So we'll be right back with the first battle of today's episode. All right, we got our first opponent, a 1559 rated player from Japan as our first opponent of the day. Bring a, oh, wow. Tapu Koko, Ludicolo, Pelipper, Incineroar, Sceptile, and Primarina. So this is Rain and Pledge together on one team, wow. Oh, geez. It's or it could also oh there's so many <sighs> this is gonna be a hard one for sure this is gonna be hard you got Tapu Koko with potentially discharge set up the septile you got grass and water pledge potential leads you got rain mode there's so this is this is gonna be a hard team to maneuver I think the best lead is Lopini I think it's Tapu Koko Togekiss actually. I actually want to go uh, Arcanine and Lopini in the back because I think uh, Azumarill, I usually bring Azumarill for the rain matchup. I don't think it's that good here. And I feel like if I just weaken my opponent's team, Bandy Extreme Speed just destroys everything. Um, I think, oh wait, Lightning Rod. Mm. I forgot to Sceptile Lightning Rod. So, well, if you lead Sceptile, I'm not sure if you do. It is Sceptile Tapu Koko, so it's Discharge Mode for sure. Okay. Uh, if you're going for, you have to go for discharge if you mega evolved. I could get a calm mind up. Am I willing to trade though my Togekiss? Well, you're not gonna KO Togekiss with just a discharge, even if you're specs. So I think the play is to calm mind here with Coco and follow me, cause I don't want to take an attack. Yeah, cause I'm pretty sure this is just gonna be timid specs Coco with uh, Mega Sceptile. That's like one point under. We're going to see Sceptile withdraw in a Pelipper, actually. Oh, you're going straight for the Thunder, aren't you? <laughs> Alright. You're not discharging here, that's for sure. Follow me, going to come out. Unless you Gleam here, but I think you would Thunder here. Get a Calm Mind off. Alright. Oh, it's just Thunderbolt. No Thunder. Interesting. Oh, uh, maybe scouting for the HP Ice. I live with Thunderbolt. Oh, Life or Thunderbolt I live. Oh, I did not know that. I definitely don't live Gigabolt Havoc, but that's actually really good right here. Uh, Gleam is looking like a really good call here. It could Gigabolt Havoc, but that relies on me winning a speed tie, so I'm not going to go for that. Uh, I think Protect is honestly a safe play. Uh, is it? Yeah, I'll protect here. I'll gleam. 
and protect. You're definitely going to go for Thunderbolt, and I think Tailwind here if you're my opponent. Maybe you protect here if you're not Sash Pelipper, but you should be. Get a Gleam off. It's slow Coco, so I wonder if it's like modest. Let's see Speed Ties. Thunderbolt and Tailwind, yeah. Okay. That's fine. Uh, follow me. Gleam here looks very safe for me. Follow me, Glee. Skull's not gonna do too much, thankfully, thanks to the Calm Mind boost. I mean, it's still gonna hurt, but like, at least it's not the worst case. And I, I'll trade for this position because I don't know who your back Pokemon is, though. Oh no, 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 no! That shouldn't KO, but still. <sighs> okay, that didn't KO, but it puts me in range of a Z move. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, Lopany. I'm guessing it's Ludicolo as the last Pokemon. That's gonna be difficult. Yeah, Ludicolo. Ooh boy, my opponent. <coughs> well, I guess I would have been in the same position. Um Regardless, I don't think you fake out Lopany. I think you would go for the Z move potentially. There are two turns of Tailwind. I don't think I stalled him out. I mean, wait. Yeah, I can't stall out the. Oh, wait. Rain's two turns as well. Hmm, maybe? What if I protect Coco? Fake out the Ludicolo. Hope you're going for Hydro Vortex and Energy Ball right away. I could see a way out of this. I could see a way out of this. If I had a jump kick, I would. Oh no, this might be where high jump kick. Not having a high jump kick might have screwed me over. Alright, we Mega Evolve here. Hope you Energy Ball and Hydro Vortex here. If you fake out of yourself, that's even. That's problematic. Or maybe I have to go for a double with Coco. Ah, you do fake out. Grass Pledge. Oh, yeah, yeah, it wouldn't be energy, but okay. I think I have to go for a double if I want to win this. I think I need a double with Coco. And I think I have to sack Arcanine here. Because I can knock out Septon one shot with Ice Punch. Maybe do I hope for a Hydro Pump miss on, uh,. Ludi, I mean onto my uh, Arcanine, because I could Ice Punch just, I could sack my Lopany to the Hydro Vortex. Actually no, I think sacking Lopany might be the play here. Let's see. I, get, I failed a double en Energy Ball. Oh don't tell me you're Leaf Storming, I could have went into Arcanine. Is Leaf Storm. Uh, can you survive this Lopany? Ah, close. Oh, wait, wait. But Septile's at minus two attack. Rain stops. Electric Terrain disappeared. This is a close end of game. I have to let Recoil from Flare Blitz plus two Dragon Pulses. I... Oh, man. I'm surprised my opponent did that. Like, if you just hide your Vortex, I felt like if you just hide your Vortex Energy Grass Pledge, you would be in a really good position. Alright, I'm gonna Flare Blitz. Because that gave me an up. Oh, your Fake Out Protect! Hold on, let me see. Dragon Pulse. Okay, I wanna find this out. That is a really uncon. That's an unconventional. And it got me good. <laughs> All right. I don't think I let the recall, but we'll see. If I did let the recall, I actually could have won this if it didn't have protect. Because this is the second Dragon Pulse. I don't think I would let the. Re actually, I think I will let the recall. Oh, come on. I knock out Ludi. I did let the recall. So if it did not protect, I won. Oh. <laughs> 
Rip me. The one fake out uh, protect Ludicolo in the game. Uh, good game to my opponent. Good game. That, that got me good. So it didn't have Ice Beam. It didn't have Ice Beam. It had Energy Ball. You want to see my Water Type move, fake out protect. Wow. <laughs> so I guess if I wanted to win the game 100%, I should have just switched out to Arcanine. But what I thought it, what I thought the scenario was, you grasp Blood Charger Vortex. If I get the double, I do win the game. I feel like, like I hundred percent win the game. Oh man, I feel like I would hundred percent win the game if I get the double. And if not, uh, I, well, I guess it would. I guess my situation still came down to do I get the double protect. Because I was really worried about Hydro Vortex going out into Arcanine if I switched out Lopany, which was like a fear because I felt like my opponent didn't have a reason not to do that. Maybe my opponent thought I had Protect on Lopany, which I guess then would make sense. Well, you did get the KO either, <laughs> either way, and maybe you don't expect me to switch, which is both are fair, I think, in, in uh, my opponent's perspective. But, uh, fake out Protect Ludicolo hurt my soul. <laughs> fake out Protect hurt my soul. Because you, usually, um, Ludicolo, you're going to want to run Water-type move, Grass-type move, um, Ice Beam, and then usually it's like you give up either Fake Out, you either have Fake Out or Protect. You usually give up that slot for the other, but this one, really unconventional, <laughs> having both. So, sacking or trading Ice Beam over, uh, yeah, trading Ice Beam for one of the two. Wow. Got me good. I don't think they're like obviously I think the one turn I guess defining was I could have switched out into Arcanine and maybe I should have went for that play because um then I could have ice punch knocked out the uh Sceptile. I do outspeed it. Maybe the play was actually to go on the Sceptile, but the problem is that Ludicolo gets two water moves off. But then again, you have to hit both of them. Although, it could just come down to do you hit Hydro Pump. One Hydro Pump in the beginning. Because then I think Hydro Pump in the Energy Ball gets me. Which was my thought process. Uh, but if it's just that Scald. Would Energy Ball hit to a KO? I think it does. But if it doesn't, then maybe I should have just went to the Arcanine Switch. But we'll be right back for the second game of today's battle. Wow. Alright, we got Dean from the United States of Florida. 1563 rated opponent as our next... Opponent with Mono Dragon. Huh? Okay. This is actually really scary still. Okay. Thankfully, I have a Lopany with Ice Punch, a Top of Coco, and Triple Fairy. <laughs> That's actually really good. Although, there are still questions that lingers. Is that Scarf Garchomp? Like, if these are Scarf... If there's a Scarf Dragon between Scarf Garchomp and Scarf Nagandadel... I'm gonna have issues, especially if my opponent leaves them. I think I'll go Lopany, Tapu Koko. I think Azumarill and Togekiss are in the back. I, f I could see Aegislash working. I could also see Arcanine working, but I feel like the fairies are the best play. You're definitely bringing Nogginadel in this matchup. I'm guessing Salamence is your Mega. You got like three potential Mega Evolutions. Como should be Z move. So I do want to threaten that heavily. Mono Dragon. What am I? What should I expect from this team? Because I honestly have no clue. So top of Coco Lopany. No side pup in today's episode, which is unfortunate too. Salamence Nagnadel. Do you have Tailwind, my friend? I think my play is always to call mine fake out the uh, Nagnadel. It's Air Balloon Naga Nadel. I don't think you have Earthquake on Salamence, to be honest. You might have Tailwind. I don't think you have the other. Okay. You get Intimidate off. Pretty big. I'm going to Fake Out and Calm Mind here. Because a Neutral Earthquake doesn't knock out Tapu Koko. A Tailwind is probably the worst case scenario. But I could just switch out to uh, my... As long as this isn't Sludge Wave Naga Nadel. Because at this rate, I can't predict my opponent's sets at all. They're all too unconventional. Nagandadel protects. Salamence didn't make well, so is it protecting too? Beautiful. Beautiful. 
That's beautiful. Fake out and Calm Mind. So now I have a Gleam and an Ice Punch threatening these Pokemon. I'm pretty sure I KO both of them. <coughs> or should I just Gigavolt Havoc the Nognadel? But I don't want to race my Gigavolt Havoc. I honestly do think Ice Punch should do at least 50 and Gleam should pick up the other 50%. So I think I will just Gleam and Ice Punch. What the heck am I facing? Can someone tell me what I'm facing? I'm going to withdraw an Agnada, which was also another fear I had. Latias is going to come out. Okay. So I get an Ice Punch and a Gleam off. I wonder if this is a Scarf Latias. It's not Mega Evolving with your Salamence either. Is this Z-Move? Wow. Both of them survived. Oh. I oh. What the heck? Oh, it's Sash. I thought that was weak this policy. I'm like, what? Okay. So I don't see a way my opponent knocks me out with... Both of them. Well, maybe it's better to play it safe than sorry in case it's a random earthquake. I'm going to go Azu and protect. I don't want <coughs> a random earthquake. I mean, I weakened my opponent's mods already, which is really nice. I was like, weak this policy. <laughs> or assault vest. I'm like, wait, 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 what's going on? All right, Latias is going to come out. Mega Lottie. I wonder if it's gonna call mine. Well, you can't. If you call mine in this position, I'll still live to attack because of my own call mind. Uh, Tapu Koko will protect. I want to threaten the Salamence slot with an Aqua Jet. Flamethrower gonna come out into that Tapu Koko slot and a recover, which is okay. All right, so now I'm in a pretty good position with both my Pokemon. <laughs> Luckily, I have three fairies. Uh, Aqua Jet's looking very safe here and a Gleam here. Uh, <coughs> I don't think you want to protect. <laughs> Because uh, Belly Drum on Ozzy would be pretty bad for you. And I could Belly Drum up here, but I don't want to. Because I feel like Coco can win this game. And I could Belly Drum with Ozzy later if I have to. Because I don't think Ozzy is going to take much. Salamence is going to withdraw. Okay. Into Garchomp. Are you Scarf Garchomp? Ozzy is going to protect. That is fine. Actually, if I Belly Drum up, I think I just 100% won the game. <laughs> so I get an Aqua Jet off. Uh, that did nothing. That did absolutely nothing. I get a Gleam off. And one more turn of Tailwind, but Gleam picks up the knockout on Garchomp. Very nice Tapu Koko. Plus one Tapu Koko putting in some work here. Uh, but Nagana and is going to get a free switch in, isn't it? Yep. Uh, maybe this is the best case to belly drum and protect here because then I threaten the Nagna down in the future And if you KO Ozu, I get a free switch in the Lopini, so I think I'll just protect and belly drum You should target down Azumarill, but you might also target down Coco because the gleams are just adding up over time I want to stall out this last turn of Tailwind and get my Lopini in for sure But wow, what is this team? I don't know what Latias is gonna go for maybe call mind here but since Tapu Koko hasn't taken damage yet, I'm still not afraid of the Latias. Sludge Bomb into Coco and a Icy Wind. Okay, interesting tack here. I'm guessing that... <coughs> I'm guessing that Latias doesn't have Protect. Icy Wind recovers interesting. A lot of speed control on this variant. Um, Aqua Jet Gleam does clean out pretty much my opponent's entire team. To be honest, I feel like just doubling up the uh, Latia slot because um, Aqua Jet plus Gleam will knock out Latias. I'm pretty sure Latias doesn't have protect at this rate. Uh, Nognadel might protect and then Icy Wind comes out, so you Nognadel outspeeds my Coco. And even if it doesn't, like, I get a Gleam off guaranteed on Nognadel. I do, like... A 2 a KO, or I put in Ozzy's Aqua Jet range, and then Ozzy wins the game. Uh, we're going to see Helping Hand come out, which is okay here. As long as it's not Sludge Wave. Even if it's Sludge Wave, I don't think that wins him the game at all. Get the Aqua Jet off. That did nothing. Mega Latias is just so bulky. Uh, Gleam going to come out. It is a 2 a KO on Nagnadel. And it has to be Sludge Wave to come out in order to get a double knockout here. It's just Sludge Bomb, okay. That will knock out Top of Coco, but your Nagnadel is in range of my Aqua Jet. At least it should be. Special attack rises, so yeah, you don't even have speed. Uh, I get to go Lopini. 
yeah, this game's over. No matter what you do, I feel like I do have my position to win the game. <coughs> so Salamence is going to come out. And then, yeah, Aqua Jet. If this had Sludge Wave, it could have been, and got a speed boost, it could have been super threatening. Oh, my opponent DCs. Well, I won the game anyway by clicking Fake Out into Aqua Jet, then Ice Punch into Aqua Jet. Like, my opponent didn't have any way to win afterward. So, gonna be able to take the second game there. We're gonna play one more, I think. Yeah, let's play one more. But yeah, uh, my opponent already had a pretty bad matchup. Turn one just went perfectly for me because I was just able to get a calm mind up. Surprising, Latias was the mega to be honest, because I think uh, support Latias is the mega just didn't offer any pressure. Like my opponent was having only Nagna Dell really is offensive pressure. Like everything else was like I see win support. Sash Ment isn't gonna do much really to my team, and then. What was it, Garchomp? Well, Garchomp switched in and then got KO'd, so... Yeah, my opponent really didn't have much. And I was just able to pressure my opponent, just kept Coco in a good position, was able to actually set up with Azumarill, but even if I wasn't able to set up with Azumarill, like, I was really liking my position of how it looked in the game, as long as my opponent didn't have Sludge Wave. But since you don't have any uh, Steel Dragons, because the only one's Dialga, uh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine there was a nice Steel Dragon like Dialga. It got Levitate. Oh, imagine that monster it would be. That would actually be a really good Pokemon. That would be a really good Pokemon. Only weak to fighting. <coughs> and ground if it doesn't get Levitate. But we got Kai VDC, 1578 rating from Mexico as our last opponent of the day. Uh, oh! <laughs> Yo, a mirror? <laughs> Yo, that's actually hilarious, man. That's actually hilarious. <coughs> I don't know how did I want to approach this. I think Lopini top with Coco with Togekiss and Azu looks pretty good. Arcanine can do a lot of work too. I don't think Aegislash is good in the mirror. It's actually cool. <laughs> That's funny. That's actually really funny. Okay. Uh, I don't want to go here. I honestly... think I want to go Lopini Coco. If... Azu Togekiss in the back. I'm pretty sure my opponent's gonna leave Lopini Tapu Koko too. I think Tapu Koko is really good against this team in general. Which is why I think it's something that my opponent can lead. I'm also looking for my 3DS charger because I honestly don't know where it is and my 3DS is starting to die. So I hope it doesn't die uh, before the recording's over. I'll think it's here. Yeah. Uh, might be. Um... Okay. Sorry. Hey, my mic against the camera. It's not. Fire's not in here either. Weird. He might be in problem. We might have problems if uh, you see. Right. Top of Coco Togekiss is gonna lead. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> I get a free call mind boost. Like actually a free call mind boost. I think I'm not gonna Mega Ball just in case my opponent decides to go for the Air Slash right away. But a fake out and calm mind. I mean, you could tail in here, which is all right here. I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay with that. Because my opponent's not going to get a calm mind of his own right here. I'm going to be threatening my opponent a lot. I think Tokius would protect next turn. Also going to be... In it's going to be interesting to see what my opponent does. For sure. I think you Tailwind here, to be honest, but you could be risking your Togekiss turn one, so I'm not sure my opponent wants that, but I think it'd be... I'm not sure. There are a lot of things you could do. Togekiss is going to protect. Ooh. But I make the safe play, Fake Out. And Calm Mind. Ugh, that's so good for me. 
That's really good. So I kind of like what my opponent tried to do. Like, Coco is, like, a win condition here. But the fake out pressure, I feel like, was really helpful here. I think I want to Mega Evolve Ice Punch and just Thunderbolt. <coughs> yeah. Oh, I don't want to Mega Evolve. I want a regular... <sighs> Because Ice Punch is going to go off before the Thunderbolt. Shoot. That was a mistake. Oh well, I'm still really ahead of this game still. I don't know if Tapu... You might go for Follow Me here. You might tail... You might try to have Togekiss survive. Maybe thinking I'm going to go for Gleam here. Although you might also expect Ice Punch Gleam into your Coco slot. So you might fo uh, just follow me here. Oh, I wish I didn't make a little opening. That was a mistake. At least I deny my opponent Tailwind, which is good. And I got chip damage and I got a Calm Mind boost before my opponent did. Oh, no follow me. Okay, so I think my opponent did go for the Tailwind. Ice Punch and Thunderbolt. So that Coco's probably in range for another Ice Punch plus my Gleam. As Togekiss is going to go down here. And straight for the Electrum Z. Who is this going out into? This is probably going out into... I don't know, my own top of Coco's not gonna, like, hate it. For sure. So let's see, how much is it gonna do? Oh, it's a low penny, okay. The low penny goes down, which is alright. I think I want to go Togekiss here, because I live a Thunderbolt in Electric Terrain 100%. And Azu might come out. Also, it could be Lopini, I guess. <laughs> it's gonna be Lopini, okay. Okay, so this is gonna be post James showcasing because, and you're not gonna see my webcam, it's because I was really looking around for my 3DS charger because I know I had it. I know I had it, but for some reason I. I didn't find it at the time. Apparently it was like in a really weird spot where it fell off. Like it was like in between like the wall and one of my drawers. So I couldn't find it when I was uh, looking around for the video. So yeah, you, so I'm going to post commentate this. Um, so he brings out the Lopini and I'm like, okay, uh, this is pretty safe. I'm actually just going to go for a Tailwind and Protect here because... Uh, you could double up to Tapu Koko, but that means you don't have a Calm Mind up, which means I'm okay with my own Tapu Koko's position here. And even if you do fake out Togekiss, it's fine, as my opponent actually does go for the fake out and the Calm Mind. Really smart play by my opponent, but like, again, I'm okay with this position. Because now I can, um, follow me in Calm Mind, and I'm pretty sure that Gleam will still knock out the Tapu Koko at that range, to be honest. Since we're both at neutral, uh, basically, because... Plus one on my Coco special attack versus his special defense plus one. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be about the same amount to be honest. So I'm pretty sure Gleam will pick up the knockout. And even if it doesn't, puts it in range of my Azumarill's Aqua Jet. And then Gleam, I think, should knock out Lopini. I'm not exactly too confident. And I'm not even sure if we can afford to Gleam here because I, I'm just going to follow me anyway. So I was like fine with my position. So I'm just going to Gleam here. I could have gibbled Havoc. I didn't. Which... I wanted to save for the end game in case there was like something I needed to Gigabolt Havoc, like Age of Slash maybe. But in retrospect, I think I should have just went for Gigabolt Havoc and then Top of Coco. I think it was a safer play. But I also wanted damage on the Lopini to put in maybe either Knock It Out or Aqua Jet. I actually don't remember this calc. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I go for the Follow Me here with my Togekiss as I do take an Ice Punch from the Lopini as Ice Punch is going to come out and I know if he goes for Gleam I get my Berry back anyway so I'm like okay with my position as Gleam is going to come out I win a Speed Tie and I knock out the Tapu Koko and knock out the Lopini so Tapu Koko goes down and Lopini uh, was going to go down but uh, instead uh, my battery 3DS dies actually right there so unfortunate because since I got the double knockout no matter what he had in the back whether it was Azumarill whether it was Arcanine whether it was um, whether it was Azumarill, whether it was Arcanine, or whether it was Aegislash, they were all going to go down to plus one game with Havoc. There's actually no way my opponent could have potentially won that. So, I, I do apologize to Kai VGC for my battery going down. I 
honestly thought my charger was just gonna be in my like jacket pocket because that's where I think I left it but unfortunately it accidentally fell out of it so uh, yeah I do apologize but yeah so technically it was gonna be a win but ended up as a loss instead but hope everyone enjoyed today's episode of VGC 2018 Vectric Battles. That was the first time this has ever happened to me where the battery dies, I think, when I'm recording. Uh, and I'm gonna post, actually. I think the last time this happened to me was back in, like, 2014, 2015. I think it was, like, one of those. But, like, yeah, I haven't made that mistake in a while. But thank you all for tuning in today's episode of VGC 2018 Vector Battles. If you did, please leave a like down below. It shows the support, as well as you can check out the rest of my stuff as well. My social medias, all that good stuff will be in the link to in the description down below. If you want to try out the pacement of the team, go try it out down below in the description. It's obviously worth um, something if people are actually using it. But thank you all again for tuning in. Again, apologies to Kai, but have a great day, people. I will catch you around in another video.